So in this video, come along with me for some fun roadside stops. So I am at a rest stop on my way, but I have been getting comments and so I thought that I would address them from last week's video about some of my gadgets. And one of the things was this visor, this little spongy visor. So I just wanted to show you something. I did stop a little while ago at a truck stop and picked up another type of iPhone mount. It was only $19.99. So I thought that this would be better because it's not like the other one, which is more like a gooseneck and it's good for filming because it goes around in different positions. This one has a, a little bit of a thicker piece that looks like more of a rear view mirror. So I decided to do that. And it did help a little bit with some wiggly problems that I was having with that little visor, but I'll show you. Some of you had said that I should put it this way, which is great and it stays pretty well, especially now that I have this thicker piece that it stays onto. I think you can do it either way. This way it's easier when you're driving to just slide it up like this and it stays pretty well. So I am not sure the instructions actually say to do it this way. I don't. I think if you have a rear view mirror, it's in front like this. And so it's easier than to try to put it on like that. So it really works anywhere. This, it's just a piece of foam. So if you had a piece of foam and could cut it yourself, I would do that. But it's, it, I think it works either way. The instructions say the other way. I really don't know why, but for me, it'll work either way. Like that or like this. And it really just stays in place while you're driving. Then there's the issue of this visor. So the instructions for this one actually say when you have your visor up, it says to put it on the back. But I found that then you can't open your visor and you need your visor. So this way you actually use your visor and you put this mounted like this where the clip is here and these fold up into it. So it's in like that, right? But then what I discovered is that you can have this one down and it's lower and you are blocking the sun. So you have all these things that are blocking the sun and it, it really works well. Then you can put this one back like that and this one down for when you need just this for the glare of the nighttime driving. So I hope that makes sense. I think you can do it either way, just depending on your visor setup. For me, it works well this way because I feel like I can manipulate it a little bit better. Uh, whereas when it was the other way that I think they suggested, it was still, it was here, but it was way up high. And so when the sun goes low, you have an issue. So it didn't really help. This seems to work better. I think play around with it and see what works for you. But for me, this is the best setup and it, it really does block the light and I'll, I'll be showing that to you a little later on. And I'm telling you guys, nothing beats having Javi for when I'm on the road like this because I don't have a mess. I literally just have to put my little stove thing away and I am done. When you're on the road like this, it actually saves you money because my temptation at a stop like this would be to just on somewhere down the road, get a coffee at a truck stop or something like that. But this, I just, can warm up water and I'm good. So I really have loved Javi for situations like this where I just want coffee and I want it quickly. This is a dream. Now I will hit the road and you come along with me. Okay. 
seeing signs for a very special place and it is the perfect time of day and I need to eat so I think I'm going to go ahead and pull in and you get to join me for a very very special evening. One guess where I am. Some of you have asked me about my ladder and how I get onto the roof. I realized that I never really explained when I attached that because we did it all together and it happened so fast. That is a universal ladder. I looked it up for, for Transit Connect and they didn't have one, but they had this one that said it would fit vehicles like this. And it does, it works really good, very easy to attach if you're willing to put holes in your door but it was well worth it for me because I have loved my deck and it's a great way to get up there. I don't have to store anything. So that is a added advantage. So I needed to close myself in a little bit to cook until the sun goes down completely. And I wanted to show you what I have. I'm basically making pizza, Organics brand pizza crust. So they're already made, they just need to be warmed up. Then the smallest pizza sauce that I could find was this chipotle peppers adobo sauce. So it's just tomato puree, onions, vinegar, canola oil, chipotle peppers, paprika, garlic, and salt so maybe it'll taste weird maybe it'll taste good and then daya which is a non-dairy non-soy brand of cheese this tends to stay well in my little cooler non-refrigerated and it melts really well it tastes pretty good it's basically tapioca flour coconut oil chickpeas things like that so it, it's actually pretty good so i'll show you how well it melts and that is it. So we will get to make some pizza for dinner. And then afterwards I go and watch the sunset because it's so beautiful here. You are hanging rather precariously on my fan right now. 
but I wanted you to be able to see this from this view. And <clears throat> basically, just put this here now, and then this on top of it, like that. Here. Okay, it's just a little spicy, but it should be quite good. Let me see. Oh dear, I'm making a mess. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> this will be. So this will be spicy chipotle pizza, but it's good. Mm. If anybody knows of some pizza sauce packets that don't have corn syrup in them or soy, I would love to know about that because the little packets instead of the cans will stay better and will be just one serving, which I like. So this is what it looks like when the cheese is on. I like the Daya cheese. It's not dry at all, so it creams down pretty well. Now I will put it on here, light it, and we shall see. I'll let this warm up for a while, and then I'll put the lid on it to melt the cheese. Now I'm going to put the lid on. And something that I forgot, but is very important, put water on the pan so that it doesn't just sit there and get hot. So I poured some water underneath there. You can see it boiling. And this is what it looks like after two minutes. I turned down the heat a little bit to minimum here so that it doesn't burn the bottom, but we'll see. So this is after five minutes. See how the cheese is melting? It's, a, it's great on the bottom. It's a little soggy, so I'm taking off the lid to see if it crisps up a little bit because it may be creating too much steam. So now that the top is melted enough, I'm going to just let it crisp up a little. I think the cheese is definitely all done. I may have put a little too much water or kept the lid on a little too much because the crust is not crispy at all. So you can see how the cheese melts really well. That's something I really like about a Daya as a vegan cheese. Not bad. And of course, if you have regular cheese, just use regular cheese. But I think I'm liking this. All right. Mmm. And it's got a little kick to it with the chipotle sauce. <laughs> Mm. And of course this, it just had oil and water in it. So I'm just going to wipe it up and it's clean. Now it's time to go outside.
just wanted to show you how this visor works at night. And I hope you can tell that those lights that were just coming straight at me were very yellowed out and it wasn't hard at all to have them face me. So that is really good. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for a ride and some fun roadside stops. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.